This is the card we're going to be doing today. Now, I don't know if you can see the sparkle on it, but it is really shiny. Um, this is my second Christmas card for Christmas in July. Um, this is actually most of it from the tree lot dies that are free with um, an order. Let me see if I can find it in here. This is our celebration catalog. And here we are, and it's free. All these dies with a $120 order, and you can get them. You can also buy a stamp set. It's uh, trees for sale that goes with it. But I have not got that, so I have the dies. And I love, absolutely love the trailer die. This, you do this in a different color from this, and it shows up. I did this one in white. The one I'm going to be doing with you is gray. So it shows up a little bit better amongst the snow. Uh, but I started out with this, so I just continued with white. And the, the mountains in the back are from Mountain Air. The season's greeting is from Marius Moments. And what did I use? Oh, the tree for inside is I use that from Regal Reindeer. But I use this in Old Olive, this and this, Old Olive, this, this, and this in um, um, Mossy Metal. This I did in Smoky Slate. This was in red, real red. I used the bow in real red. I did the wreath in Mossy Metal. I did the dog in um, Soft Suede. Um... And I think that's all the dies that I used. I stamped the mountains in basic gray and then I flipped the stamp over and um, stamped it in smoky slate. And then I used shaded spruce on the trees and the rest I will show you. Oh, this is black. Now this all comes apart and so when you cut this white part out or my gray one, I have a gray one, um, this will be gray and that circle will be gray. Well, they pop right out and I uh, cut it out again in yellow so that I could use this to make it look like there's the lights on in the trailer. And then this is just um, like a blind for inside the trailer, but you can see it on the outside. And I thought that was kind of cute. And the little dog um, in the stamp set, they have an actual dog and you can uh, stamp it and then cut it and color it and cut it out with the die. But I wanted to use just the dies to show you that it can be done. You don't need the stamp set. It's helpful for certain things because uh, there's a sign here and in the stamp set, there's uh, it says trees for sale. So you would stamp the trees for sale and then cut it out with the die cut. And there's different things. There's banners and like there's lights um, and you would stamp those and then cut them out with the die. So yeah, there's all kinds of things that are intermixed, but I didn't, like I say, I don't have it. So I didn't want to use anything that you couldn't do without your um, just getting the dies, which are free. Hi, I'm Cheryl Rowling, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. Thank you for joining me today. Don't worry about sizes or supplies for this card as they are attached to this video. If you enjoy watching this video, could you please like and share as this helps me grow my channel. And if you could leave a comment, that would be wonderful as I love to see where you're watching from or what you think of the card. 
If you aren't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and hit notifications so you will know when I post a new video. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you out. My contact information is attached. I'll just knock that down. So I am going to start with a plain white piece of cardstock. And I start out with my basic gray. I go back and forth. I don't jiggle my desk. I tend to jiggle it sometimes when I'm stamping. I get rid of that. It just helps me for placement. And then I'm just going to come in on this end and just fill in a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to clean my stamp off. And to do the filler, this is a, like a, it's a stamp both ways. So this comes off and you put it, flip it over and put it down. And then you have the part that fills in here, that fills the mountains in. So. There we go, and I'm going to, now it's not going to be exact, because you see that's missing and that's missing. So I am going to come in with this end, and touch that, and then I'm going to come in with this end, and do that one. Pretty easy, right? So now I'm going to take that one off and I'm going to put this one on. This is my trees. And I'm doing them in shaded spruce. I don't think that's straight. There we go. I tried them with mossy metal, but it wasn't dark enough to go into the mountains and show up. So I changed it to shaded spruce, which is much darker and it shows up just like that. Now what I'm going to do is take my flirty flamingo and my blending brush and I'm starting off on here and then just doing around the mountains. I'm not doing much, just like not very high. I want it to look like a sunrise. and it's just at the mountains. And then I want the purple, which is Highland Heather. And I have my blending brush for that. And it will be up here. And blend the pink and the uh, high, well, the flirty flamingo and the Highland Heather together. Just, just like that. I hope you can see it. It's kind of hard when I've got the mess behind it. <laughs> but you need a mess to make it work properly. You have to have that um, 
a place to uh, swirl it off so you don't get it mess up your card stock that you're the card see how pretty that is so what I'm going to do now is I am going to spray it and then hopefully the only thing that will be sprayed will be this part now I have I probably need something bigger but this works and I have to shake my um, champagne shimmer mist I just made some yesterday so it's full and I take 70% alcohol and fill it up to about there and then I put a few drops depending on the size of the drops but maybe about five but you can shake it like put the lid back on <laughs> first and then shake it up and see if it's enough in there but spray your cardstock just take a scrap piece of cardstock and see if you can see the the shimmer on there and uh, then you've got it the right if you need to put more on that's not a big deal just put more on you can do that easily so I think I'm gonna get these out of the way so I'm not infringing on my space here because I tend to do that a lot So now it's just glue this down. Come on. And center it. And then I will show you how I did the trees with the two steps of cutting them out. There we go. Now, I that looked odd. It was the piece of paper inside there. <laughs> I thought I had um, scored it really crooked, like really crooked. And it's kind of like, what in the world did I do? How could I have done it that bad? But I didn't. It was just the, I put, this is going to go inside here. So I just do that. Um, I just put it inside so I don't get it mixed up with what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to flip this over and I'll put my grunge on that side. Because I'm stamping off. I'm not stamping the whole thing. This is the, the trees from the Regal Reindeer. It's such a pretty set of trees. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And then I'm just going to, just in case I'm shaking, when I watch the video back sometimes, it's like, oh my goodness. I don't notice it here, but I'm shaking the table as I pounce <laughs> to uh, ink up my stamp. It's like, whoa. So when I remember, I do it this way. So now I'm going to put this away because then I'm finished with that. And I'm going to put this on the inside so that I'm total finished with that. and get it in here and then I will show you the trees because I have nothing else in my little container that I put all my supplies in. So I took a piece of this is mossy metal and the other the backing that's solid is of old olive. So uh, you can see I cut that out with the detailed 
uh, die. And that's what I put here on the, this is an adhesive sheet. And so I just uh, die cut it out. And then I take the back off this and put it on the tree. There it is. And there's my tree and there's the the window from the trailer and there's a circle window here someplace too but anyways I don't need that anymore so there's my dog and here is my old olive and I just have to take the backing of this off and it usually isn't too bad just like that sometimes because they're panels you have to take two panels off but that's okay it's easier to take the second panel uh, because it just goes right off once the first panel is off see how easy that is and then I just run my finger around it so that it's there so I'm going to get this out of the way move that out of the way so I've got a little bit of elbow room here now here is my trailer see it looks it show it's going to show up better than the white one but that's okay so I uh, die cut this out with the red and then I glued it on I die cut the wreath glued the um, bow on it and glued it on here after I had sunk the yellow in here but when you look back here I actually put it down put the circle in and put a, a dimensional over the top and I did this the same way and I put it down and made sure it was even and then I did these little tiny strips of uh, dimensional so that it can go right down and then after I got everything done then I glued that little um, blind on it so what we're going to do is if this won't take long now because I've got most of the work accomplished and I'm just going to and oh shoot I glued that down I shouldn't have okay what I'll do is I'll just put it over farther don't glue this down first because I had it over here and then I cut the edges off but it's okay it doesn't matter it will be fine each card's an individual See, I make a mistake and I show you how to correct it. That's crazy for me, but it helps you. Like that. And then I'm using, I use half dimensionals. Um, I don't like to waste and so I use half a dimensional wait a minute I am going to do my uh, season's greetings first and then I can start putting things down easier doing it again creating an opportunity for it to bounce this is my ink spot it's black and I just um, fill it with black memento ink there we go perfect and then this goes on and it's just easier if this goes on before I put my camper on And I'm doing things in threes. I have 
Actually, I have an extra tree, but I wanted to show you, and I had done them all. And it's like, oh, Cheryl, you were supposed to wait. So I just did an extra one. No big deal. And there's my tweezers. And there's my camper. There we go. And do this one. See, really and truly, this does not take a lot of putting together because you've done all the prep work, which isn't that much. Well, it's not hard. Let's put it that way. It's not hard prep work. I'm trying to make it even. Yeah, that's not bad. Now we put my little doggie on here and I'm going to hold on to him with my tweezers because I don't want to drop him because I will do a good job of not hanging on to him. And he is going right there. And he fits around that so nicely. So what do you think? This I did not spray this time. This one is sprayed. Which one do you like the best? The white one or the gray one? The sprayed one or the unsprayed trailer and trees? I, I like this gray much better than the white but it gives you options. You could do all kinds of different colors. You could do blues and greens and purples if you want. I just want to keep it kind of Christmassy for this, but this would make a great summer card. And um, we have palm trees. You could put palm trees and we have ocean front and you could do um, the ocean front card, um, like you're at the beach and have your trailer there. You just wouldn't use the wreath. There's a lot of ways to use this stamp set. And you don't have to even think of these as being Christmas trees. They are in this case, but they don't have to be. They can be any kind, like they're evergreen trees and they always will be evergreen trees. But we have evergreen trees all the time that are not our Christmas trees in the summer. So what do you think? I only need one of these. Which card do you like the best? I personally like the green, the gray, but you might like the white because it blends in better. And it is sparkly, so it doesn't blend as much as it could have. So thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day. I know you guys are so busy. So thank you for watching with me uh, and being part of my channel. Thank, uh, if you could like, share, comment, share. Oh, I already said that. Sorry. Subscribe. That would really help me grow my channel, and I do appreciate that so much. Thanks again. Bye now. I forgot to tell you to do the wheel. I didn't do it. I meant to do it before I started, but I didn't, and as soon as I was taking the picture, I noticed it. So I just use my um, basic black dark uh, blend and I colored in the wheel on both of them. Sorry about that. Bye now.